This is Night Pre-Trip Study Guide. When approaching the, your truck, you're checking for leaks, leans, and lights, oil, water, fuel, cracked headlights. Clearance lights, amber in color, clean and working, not cracked or broken. Hood mirror is not damaged, mounted, and secured. Headlights clean and working, not cracked or broken, and no condensation. Looking for leaks on the ground, look for dripping fluid off the underside of the engine and transmission. Open the hood compartment and move to the passenger side. Coolant reservoir is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Coolant level is proper level and not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Hoses are not leaking. Clamps are tight. Water pumps, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, properly mounted and secure. It is belt driven. Belt is not cut or frayed, no more than a half inch to three quarter inch of play. Frame is not cracked or bent, no illegal welds or drill holes. Power steering pump. It is not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and it is properly mounted and secure, and it is gear-driven. Air compressors, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and properly mounted and secured, and it is gear-driven. Power steering reservoir, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and properly mounted and secure, and full to the proper level. Oil level, full with no water or metal shavings in it. Engine oil dipstick reads above add mark and in safe operating range. Alternator, properly mounted and secure, no missing bolts, and it is belt driven. The belt is not cut, frayed, or no more than one half to three quarter inch of play. Power steering gear box, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Power steering hoses, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and properly mounted and secured. Power steering gear box. Hoses, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and properly mounted and secured. Steering linkage, U-joints, properly mounted and secured, not loose or broken. Steering linkage is not bent or missing crown nuts or cotter pins. Front and back leaf spring hangers, not cracked, damaged, or any missing bolts. Leaf springs, not cracked, damaged, or scissored. U-bolts and saddles, properly mounted and secured to the axle, not cracked, damaged, or missing. Shock absorbers. Properly mounted and secured to the frame and not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Hoses, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber clamp, properly mounted and secured. No loose or missing clamps. 
Push rod not bent or damaged should be at about 90 degree angle to the slack adjuster if properly adjusted. Slack adjuster properly mounted and secured there should be no more than one inch of free play with brakes released and wheels chalked. Brake drum not cracked, damaged, no oil or debris, no color change which would indicate overheating. Brake shoes not cracked, damaged or oil soaked and no less than one quarter inch of pad left on shoes. Steer tires Sidewalls with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Tires, even tread wear. Steer tires, depth no less than 430 seconds, also checked with a gauge. Wheels. No damage to bead or bent. Wheels not bent, damaged, and no spider web cracks between vent holes and lug nut holes. No illegal welds. Bell stem inflation 100 psi or manufacturer's specification. Check with a gauge. Not cracked, damaged, or leaky. Must have a metal cap. Lug nuts, not loose, damaged, or missing. No rust trails or shiny threads to indicate looseness. Hub seal, properly mounted and secure, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Oil level is adequate. Now close the hood. Check steps into the cab of the battery box behind the step door and is secured connections no corrosion batteries not damaged or leaking battery connection shows no excessive corrosion batteries are secured connections are tight and secured no corrosion batteries are not damaged or leaking driver door mirror and mounting brackets is not damaged and properly mounted and secured check the door Open and closes tightly. Window goes up and down. Hinges is not bent or damaged. Door seal not damaged and is a tight fit. Emergency equipment, fire extinguisher, properly mounted and secure, fully charged. Minimum BC-10 rating if hauling hazmat. Three triangles in working condition, not cracked or damaged. Spare fuses or breakers if needed. Start your in-cab inspection. Check internal lights. Operation ask examiner to assist you in the light check. Front of the truck check. Four ways, flashers, right turn signal, left turn, marker lights, headlights, high and low beams. Next, the tractor side turn. And four ways, ask the examiner to go to the rear of the tractor. And the clearance light on top of the trailer. Right turn, left turn, brake lights, marker lights, four ways. And your running lights or tail lights. Side of the trailer for yellow marker lights and turn signal and four ways. On the way back, have the examiner check your ABS light by turning the key off and back on and the marker light. Your clearance lights. On the rear of the trailer. Tail lights. The rear of the trailer, right turn, left turn, brake lights, marker lights, four way flasher. Then have the examiner enter the truck and complete your, your in cab and air brake test. All right, Mr. Examiner, please put your seatbelt on and I'll do the same.
when I'm putting my seatbelt on, I'm checking to make sure that it locks and releases, locks. I'm looking for any kind of tears, rips, or frays, and it's also adjusted for my liking. The next thing I'm gonna do is check my windows. My windows are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, damaged, or broken, and do not have any illegal stickers. Next, I'm gonna look at my windshield. My windshield is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, damaged, or leaking. I'll get back to them, but I'm gonna look at my windshield wipers. My windshield wipers are a nice, tight fit, and my wiper blades are not torn, ripped, or frayed. Next, I'm gonna sit back in my seat. I'm gonna look at my mirrors. My mirrors are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, damaged, or broken, and adjusted for my liking. Next, I'm gonna do a, a safe start. My foot is all the way down on the clutch. My shifter is in neutral. My brakes are pulled. My ABS lights come on and went off. My oil pressure is on the rise and adequate for this truck. My temperature gauge is on the rise and adequate for this truck. It's between 170 and 200. My voltage is in between 12 and 14. Mine is at 13.8. My air pressure is adequate for this truck, which is 120 to 140 to do an air brake test. I'm going to slide my hands out. I'm going to do my dash lights. My dash lights come on and off my four ways. My left turn signal, my right turn signal, my bright lights, and coming out to my windshield washers and wipers. They work. Highway horn, city horn. On a 20 inch wheel, I should not have more than two inches of free play or 10 degrees. Next, I'm going to my defroster. Next to my heater. Now, Mr. Examiner, we're going to go to our air brake test. What I'm going to do is put my foot down on the clutch, put my shifter truck in first gear, turn the truck off, turn the auxiliary back on so I have the gauges at work. Release my air brakes, letting the air settle down. All right, we're gonna go into our first test, air leakage test. Air leakage test is hold my service brake down for one minute. I should not lose more than four PSI in that one minute. I'm gonna start right now. I didn't lose four PSI in that test. That was a good test. Now we're gonna to go to my low air pressure warning test. What I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna fan my service brake and I should have warning lights that come on at or on or before 60 PSI. One, two, and three. They all came on at 60 PSI. 
Next test, that was a good test. The next test is going to be my automatic spring brake test. I'm going to fan my brakes again. My trailer brake should come out before my tractor brake, and that should happen in between 20 and 40 PSI. Or they'll both come out at the same time. They both came out at the same time, about 20 PSI. That was a good test. Now my next test is going to be my air governor kick in and kick out. I'm going to do another safe start. My safe start is my foot all the way down on the clutch. Take my shifter out, put it in neutral, make sure my brakes are out, and do another safe start. Start up my truck. My ABS lights came on and went off. I'm going to rev my engine up to about 1,300 RPMs. My needles are moving, so my air governor kicked in is good. So my next one is my air governor kick out. That should happen between 140 and 120. My needle stopped moving, so my air governor kicked out. That was a good test. Next test we're going to do is our parking brake test. I'm going to put my truck in a low gear. I'm going to release my trailer brakes. I'm testing my tractor brakes. I'm going to give it a little tug. That's a good test. I'm going to reverse it. Pull my trailer brake out. Put my tractor brake in and give that a little tug. That's a good test. Next, I'm going to do my service brake test. I'm going to release both of my parking brakes. My hand are, hands are going to be at the 9 and 3 position. I'm going to roll about 5 miles an hour. I'm going to apply my service brake test. This is what I'm going to look for is my ABS light to come on my trailer track dash here or on my trailer. If it does, I would take it to the shop and get it fixed. My ABS light didn't come on my trailer or on my dash, but if it did, I would take it to the shop and get it fixed. I also didn't feel any pull on my steering wheel. That would indicate one of my brakes are grabbing harder than the other. That concludes the inside inspection and air brake test. When you're done with the inside cab and air brake test, check the side and rear of the tractor for no cuts and damage. Turn signal amber in color, clean and working condition, not cracked or broken. Back of the cab, the four reflectors not cracked, damaged, or missing rivets. Work light, properly mounted and secured, clean and working, not cracked or broken. Electric lines attached securely to the tractor with safety latch and not cracked, damaged, or frayed. Airlines not cracked, damaged, or leaking attached securely to the tractor. Airlines attached securely to the front of the trailer and not cracked, damaged, or leaking, or frayed. Electric lines attached securely to the front of the trailer with safety latch and not cracked, damaged, or frayed. Header board, not damaged, no missing rivets. 
Steps, properly mounted and secured, not damaged or missing bolts. Catwalk, properly mounted and secured, not damaged or missing bolts. U-joints, secured and free of debris. Drive shaft, not cracked, bent, or damaged. Fuel tank, fuel tank hangers are secured, not cracked, or damaged. Tank hangers are secured, not cracked, or damaged. Fuel cap is tight, no leaks from tank or fuel line. Splash guard, not damaged and covers both wheels. Torque arm spring hangers, properly mounted and secured to the frame, not cracked or damaged or missing any bolts. Torque arm springs, not cracked, damaged, or scissored. U-bolts and saddles, properly mounted and secured to the axle, not cracked, damaged, or missing. Shock absorber, properly mounted and secured to the frame, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Airbags, properly mounted and secured to the frame, not cut, damaged, or leaking air. Airbags are properly mounted and secured to the frame, mounting bolts in place, not cracked or damaged. Brake hoses, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber clamp, properly mounted and secured, no loose or missing clamps. Push rod, not bent or damaged, should be about 90 degree angle to slack adjuster if properly adjusted. Slack adjuster. Properly mounted and secured, there should be no more than one inch of free play with brakes released and wheels chalked. Brake shoes, not cracked, damaged, or oil soaked, and no less than one quarter inch pad left on the shoes. Brake drum, not cracked, damaged, no oil or debris, no color change, which would indicate overheating. Drive tires. Sidewalls have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts inflated to 100 PSI or manufacturer specification. Check with a gauge. Drive tires, even tread wear. Tread depth, no less than 230 seconds, also checked with a gauge. Rims are bud wheels, evenly spaced, and no debris between them. No damage to the beads. Wheels not bent, damaged, or no spider webs cracked between vent holes and lug nut holes. No illegal welds. Lug nuts not loose, damaged, or missing. No rust trails or shiny threads. To indicate looseness. Hub seal, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Valve stem, inflation, 100 PSI or manufacturer specifications. Checked with a gauge, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Also has a metal cap. Apron, no gap between the apron and skid plate, not cracked or damaged. The skid plate, no gap between the apron and skid plate, not cracked or damaged. 
the fifth wheel released arm is not bent or damaged and in the locked position. Sliding fifth wheel locking pins in locked position and not damaged. Fifth wheel base and frame is in proper mounting and secured, not cracked or damaged. All mounting bolts, nuts are properly mounted and secured and not cracked, damaged, or missing. Air actuator, look for cracked, damaged, or leaking and properly mounted and secured. Mud flaps. Mounted secure and covers both tires, no more than 8 inches off the ground and no closer than 3 inches to the ground. Reflector tape. Reflector. Lights and reflectors, not cracked, damaged, or missing, and proper color. Kingpin, not bent or damaged. Locking jaw is completely around the kingpin, not cracked or damaged. Turn around and check the trailer frame. Cross beams, landing gear, properly mounted and secured, not damaged, no missing bolts or cracked welds. Your trailer, your frame, and cross beams. Landing pads are fully up. Crank handle in locked and in the cradle. Check that the fifth wheel is positioned properly so that the tractor frame will clear the landing gear during turns. Front and side of the trailer, no cracks, damage, no or tears, no missing rivets or bolts. All marker lights, reflectors, turn signals, four ways, not cracked, damaged, in proper color yellow. All marker lights and reflectors Turn signals, four ways, not cracked, damaged, in proper color, yellow. Side of the trailer, no cracked, damaged, or tears, no missing rivets or bolts. Red and white reflector tape, present and clean, at least 90% all the way around the trailer. Airlines, 18 inches off the ground, not Cracked, damaged, or leaking. Tandem release arm, not damaged and in the locked position. Sliding tandem is not damaged, locking pins in locked position. Leaf spring hanger, mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or no missing bolts. Leaf springs not cracked, damaged, or scissored. U bolts not cracked, damaged, or missing. Tandem control arm not cracked, damaged, or broken. Brake hoses, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Brake chamber clamp, properly mounted and secured, no loose or missing clamps. Push rod, not bent or damaged, should be at 
about 90 degree angle to the slack adjuster if properly adjusted. Slack adjuster, properly mounted and secured, there should be no more than one inch of free play with brakes released and wheels chopped. Brake shoes, not crack damaged or oil soaked and no less than one quarter inch of pad left on shoes. Brake drum, not crack damaged, no oil or debris, no color change which would indicate overheating. Tandem tire, sidewall has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Inflated, 100 PSI, manufacturer's spec. Check with a gauge. Tandem tires, even tread wear. No less than 230 seconds, also check with a gauge. Wheel has no damage to bead, not bent, damaged, and no spider web cracks between vent holes and lug nut holes, and no illegal welds. Rims are bud wheels, evenly spaced, and no debris between them. Lug nuts not loose, damaged, or missing. No rust trails or shiny threads. Two, indicate looseness. Valve stems not cracked or damaged and has a metal cap. Hub seal, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking. Mud flaps, mounted secured, covers both tires, no more than 8 inches off the ground, and no closer than 3 inches to the ground. Door tie hook, are present, not broken. ABS light, amber in color, clean and working, not cracked or broken. Marker light, red in color and working, not cracked or broken. Clearance lights, red in color, not cracked, damaged or missing, clean and working. All lights tell Brake, clearance, lights, red in color, clean and working, not cracked or broken. DOT reflector tape is white, not damaged or missing. DOT reflector tape, red and white, not damaged or missing, 100% on the back. Door hinges and bolts. Not cracked, damaged, or missing. Door seal is in place. Not cracked, damaged, or missing. Latches, top and bottom, are latched properly. Door tie chains are secured and not missing. Doors not damaged, opens, closes, and latches properly. Tell the examiner you will check the right side as you did the left side, except for what is different on this side. The three exceptions. Your right turn signal. Four ways, amber in color, and properly mounted and secured. Check fifth wheel safety release pin. Check your exhaust for crack damage or leaking indicated by rust or black soot. Now think about what you may have missed before you tell the examiner you have finished. You can still catch and fix mistakes. Thank you.